food. Okay? I can call you one day or come over and say, let me see your dinner. Really? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mama, so cool. Mm -hmm. Do you have any food? No, like okay. I think so, so, oh, you can do something that you're about to get. Okay, yes, you can call me anytime. <laughs> don't, don't go to anybody. Call me. I want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you for making the journey. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me every time I give you assignment to do. A number of your assignments. So people may be like, oh, I like what this and this. You will agree with me that it has added something to you. It has made you to be able to think in a way that you've not been thinking before. Abby, the advices we've been giving to you, you agree with me that they are not totally strange. But maybe because you're not, you're not, you're not in a state of mind. That's the reason why you're not complying. But now you are in a better state of mind, Abby. Right. We've talked about your past, we've talked about your future, we've talked about the issues you are having, your found solutions to some things, and you people are in a better state now to get some things done. Please and please don't forget everything we've learned. We've talked about self-awareness. You know your values now, you know your personality type. You know things that get you angry, Abby, because of your personality type. You know what I've taught you, how to run away from issues. When you are angry, what and what you can do? Abby, you can take a walk, you can do deep breathing. Abby, you can punch pillow. All those stuff that I told you. Yes, sir. Your affirmations, do you still read them? Yes, sir. Don't forget. Anything you want in your life that is not in that affirmation, go and add it to it. Do you understand? Any changes you want in your life that I did not write in that affirmation, add it to your goal and be saying, today, my life is this, my life is that. Do you understand? What else did we teach you? Is that was yesterday. After self awareness, we, did, we, we, we treated their values, Abby. Yes. Okay, now you know your values. You know what your values can do for you. You know what you can use your values for. Then later we did what again? Blueprints. We did uh, the blueprints. Yes. Now you've been able to set much more goals, Abby. Abby? Your identity. What else have we done? What else? Go setting. Go setting. You're able to set goals. Please and please and please and please. Let my weeks not be a waste. I want to look at you in the future and say, Ah, thank God. My past crossed the path of uh, Sunday. Sunday is doing this and this for myself. God will help you. And God will lighten your body in Jesus' name. It means that the part of young people are sleeping. Even when you tell them, I'm not going to do this thing, someone will find yourself doing it. You understand? The Bible says, God says, He's the only one that can help you to smooth your journey. God will smoothen your journey in Jesus' name. I think Psalm 73 says something. He says, the body and the mind will fail. He says that God will strengthen the mind. What it means is that everything you have heard, the goals you have set for yourself, the determination, you know it's in your mind. The Bible says the mind will fail. That means the mind you had to set those goals can fail. But God says he will strengthen the mind. When you see that the way you are behaving or what you are doing is different from the goal you have set for yourself. Don't beat yourself too hard. Just with, with sincerity of heart, go to God. God, I think it says Psalm 73, 26. You can take this scripture now. That God, I think it says the mind and the body will fail. But God is the one that can strengthen the mind. Strengthen my mind. Let me be able to do this. Put it up. Do you understand? And you make it easy for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. My spirit is here with you, though my body will not be here with you too much. Thank you. 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 Like you're not submitting, this is your life goal. I want to become a mechanical engineer because I want to be repairing this and this. I need wisdom and understanding to work with electronic ideas. I need to go to school. I said it is not complete until you tell me the year you want to go to school. 
okay what you need to start doing that is what we call smart goal okay let me quickly round up with what smart goal have you heard of it before smart is specific goal can you write it down yeah. S means specific. M means measurable. A means achievable. R means realistic. C means time bound. Any goal, if you are saying that I want to know how to create air, you know it is a goal. It is not a perfect goal until it is smart. It is not a perfect goal until it is specific. That is S measurable m a achievable r realistic c time bound let me give you an example of a smart goal i want to know how to place a specific is it a specific goal that person not saying i want to know how to do something is that one specific i want to know how to play a that is specific that means you are going you go and mark it specific i pass measurable you must be able to measure the number of years or the kind of year so when people are looking they say oh you can plate colossal you can plate but do you understand you should be able to measure it when somebody sees it do you understand you can say i want to be able to plate colossal that is you know it is specific that's okay hey, measurable when somebody says somebody can say this is this do you understand mm -hmm. then the hey what do i call it achievable. achievable it should be something that you know that you can't say i want to go and fly a plane is that what you when you've not gone to uh, aeronautical that. engineering clinical mm -hmm. to school, school at the pilot school don't play. do you understand mm -hmm. something achievable within your means that you know it is possible that's mm -hmm. so you now look at this app a no pass achievable. The plate of it will achieve me if I put my mind there. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Then realistic, something that is real, is not vague. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Also more something measurable. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But it is realistic. As in it is real, you can say or oh, oh, possible. Do you get it? Time bound is the most exciting thing. See men like it really. And time bound is you are putting a specific time to it. You are saying before December 2022, I must know how to plate the lesser air. Is it specific? Yes. Is it measurable? Yes. Is it achievable? Yes. Is it realistic? Yes. Is, there, is it time bound? Yes. The way I will now want you to write it, which is not part of the smart I use you, I would have given you another one, but it will be complex. Let me now add this thing to it. When you are now writing that goal, make sure that it is in future tense. Future perfect tense means that you are not saying, I will, I will. You are saying, I am. There is something when you say, Emi, Moti Shekini Yi, there's something it, it does to your brain. Your brain is saying they are ready. Are you getting it? Brain does not want to hear. Brain doesn't want to hear. I'm just playing. I didn't mean to. Ah, we are budget. The brain is ready more No, the brain will say anything you say. I take it. Imagine you're not telling the brain that I am. I am. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Not I will. I will. Do you get it? You say I am. I am. I am. Before you know it. It will become possible. So when you are writing that goal, don't say I will know how to play here by December. Say, in fact, I always like writing my goal this way. It is December thirty first, twenty twenty two. I am here placing Kulese here for so 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 person. How is that? Even if you are the grave, what will you say?